Hi, I'm going to show you how to make your first voice thread. Now before I get started, I'll just show you an example from my own class blog. This is a voice thread I made for my students who published their retells of a traditional fairy tale. I have 28 students on here and each of them drew an illustration of their dragon story or their fisherman's story and then I just uploaded them to Flickr and then chucked them into VoiceThread. And you can see here are all their stories. Now in my other video I talked to you about putting on a picture or a identity, different identities. And here you can see the students of my class have all made their own identity or picture of their name so they can find themselves easily and then when they comment they don't, don't they don't go and put on somebody else's name you can see here there's Jack's one nice and big and it's attached to his comment and all you need to do is you just click on Jack and Jack will start talking It would help if I turn the sound up. A long time ago there were four dragons. Their names were the black dragon, the long dragon, the yellow dragon, and the pearl dragon. Their job was to look after... So that's Jack's story. So there's an example from my own blog, just how to use it. Okay, here we go. Let's sign into VoiceThread. This is the VoiceThread page, and you can see here, sign in or register. We'll put in our password and our username. It's just your um, email account. And sign in. Here is our My Voice page, finally uploaded. This is where the finished voice threads will be stored. And we're going to go straight over to Create. And the first step you need to do is you need to add your media to your voice thread. So we'll push upload and we're going to take it from media sources. Right now we are going to link to our Flickr account and we're going to import some photos from Flickr. Now you can see the different albums that are available from my Flickr account and I'm going to choose the mixed photos today. And I'm going to choose several animal photos. So I'll choose a square, a square. So I'll choose a squirrel. Now if you want to uh, select more than one photo you just hold down the command button or the apple button and you click on the photos you want. So I'll have a squirrel, a cow, I think that's a gerbil, a cat and a horse. We can move along and see if there's anything else we like. And maybe a skunk. Okay, so that's enough photos. You can have as many photos as you like, or you could just have one or two. Once you've picked all the photos that you want, push import. There we go, it's told us it's added six pages to our voice thread. I've had enough of that, so we'll just push close and here you can see our photos now in this view you can move your photos around in your voice thread so I'm going to put this cow on the front page you can also here is a little preview of what it will look like you can also turn your photos around if you need to okay let's add a title and a description click up here, you saw that there, title and description, and then you just type it in. What do you know about these animals? In the description, just tell us what you want to happen on your voice thread. Please add a comment telling me everything you know.
and we will save it. Right, it's really important that you name all your pictures. I've already named them, as you can see down here. The names are displayed underneath this little preview. You can change the names just by clicking on the name on the preview. And right here is the title of the photo. Down here is the address where the photo is kept. So this is the Flickr address. Don't touch this or you'll lose the photo. Okay, and we'll just push save because I'm happy with that. If we don't like a photo, so we're not pleased with the cat and we want to get rid of it, down on the preview here is a little trash bin. You just click the trash bin and it will ask, would you like to delete this page? And you just say yes. So there we go, we're down to five. If you want to add any more photos, just go back to upload and upload them from wherever you want them to come from.